welcome to our EYFS at Home Pumpkin Day. So I'm in the kitchen and we're going to make some Halloween salt dough decorations. So I've got all the ingredients and all the things that we're going to need. So we've got our weighing scales, we've got some plain flour, some table salt and some water. We've got our bowl and then I've also got some cutters. So we've got some lovely shapes that we can make. So we've got a ghost, we've got a pumpkin of course. And then we've got a bat, we've got a cat, <laughs> and we've got a witch's hat, and we've even got a sweet for trick or treat. <laughs> so I'll be back in a minute to show you what to do next. Okay, so I've weighed out 250 grams of plain flour. So I'm going to pour that into my bowl. There we go. Get your grown up to help you with your weighing. You can do it together to find the numbers on the scales. And then if I look at my recipe, we need 125 grams of salt. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna find 100 grams on here, and then we need 125, so that's just there. There we go, we'll pull that in as well. So it says mix the flour and salt together. So get yourself a wooden spoon and mix it all round. And then we get to do the fun bit where we add in the water and we get to turn it all into dough. So you can use a spoon to stir it first and then you can use your hands to turn it into a dough. So you can just do like a little bit at a time and then mix it round and then it starts to build up to a dough. We're going to put a bit more in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get it into like a big ball of dough. And once it's in a ball of dough, what we can do is we can put a bit of flour on the table and we're going to roll it out with our rolling pin. And then we are going to cut out our fantastic Halloween shapes. So I will be back in a minute when all of this dough is ready and we're ready to cut out our shapes. Okay, so I have kneaded the dough. So I've got my hands all <laughs> in there to get so it's stuck together. I did have to add a little bit more water as well. And then I've put some flour down onto the table so that I can roll it into like a ball shape. Start to flatten it down. And then I can roll it out with my rolling pin. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, children, off we go. Let's start rolling. And then we can cut out these amazing Halloween shapes. And I've also got a straw as well because this is really good because what you can do once you've cut out your shapes is to make a hole at the top of the, the cut out shape so you can poke your straw through and then you can put some string through there when it's dry because if we don't do it at this point you won't be able to do it when when it's been cooked because it'll be too hard so it's a really good idea to do it when the dough is still soft so this is looking good, looking good. And then we can start to cut out some of our shapes now. So I wonder what shape we should do first. What's your favorite Halloween shape? So I think I do like a witch on Halloween and a black cat. And of course, because it's pumpkin day, we should definitely do a pumpkin. So just thinking about how thin to do them because obviously they're going to be in the oven and you have to cook them for three hours on a really low heat in your oven. Ask your grown-up to help you with that so they'll be able to set the oven on a low heat and leaving it for three hours so you can count how many hours and the time that the, the shapes are going to be ready. So I think that's looking, looking very good. So we can start to cut out these shapes now. So I think I'm going to start with a pumpkin. I'll do this one first. And then if you do it at the side, then you can use as much of the, of the dough as you possibly can. There you go. There's one. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that looks looking nice, isn't it? That one. Look at that. So you peel it out. There's one. And then we've also, oh, should we do a cat? Do the cat one. So these are quite sharp, so be careful if you've got different shapes that you're using. I mean, if you haven't got any cutters, what you could do is you could make the shape with your grown-up do it together and use a knife to make the shape that you want. But these are great, aren't they? Because they just do it for you. Look at that. Lovely cat. And then should we have a bat as well? So once these are cut, I think it's that way actually. Once these are cut, 
You can put them on a baking tray with some baking paper on and you can put those in the oven. So I'll be back in a minute okay, when they're all so you ready. can see that I have cut out all of the shapes. I've used the straw, so I'm just going to show you what I did. So once I cut out my pumpkin, I just push the straw through just gently and then you make that hole so that when they're dry and you've painted them, you can put some string through and they can get you can hang them up. So, they're going to go in the oven for 3 hours on a really low heat. So get your grown-up to help you to put those in the oven and then I'll be back when they're all ready to paint. Hello children, wait. so all of my salt dough decorations are cooked and ready to paint. So I thought we would start with a pumpkin shape. So this is what they look like when they've been in the oven for three hours and they've been left to cool overnight as well. And I am going to put them just on a piece of paper here that I don't mind getting paint all over. I've got some orange paint mix in here and I've also got some string so when they're dry, I can hang them up. There you go. So I'm just gonna decorate my pumpkin and I'm going to put a face on him as well. I wonder what decorations you'll choose to make children. What's your favorite Halloween decoration? See, I think mine's definitely the pumpkin and I do like the black cat at Halloween too. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I have painted two of my pumpkins. I've done one of my sweets. I'm going to do my witch's hat and bat and I've actually finished my ghost because it was really easy. I didn't even need to paint him. So I've just drawn his eyes on and his mouth and I've tied my string. So I'm gonna do my pumpkin faces now and I will tie it on the string as well. So I'll be back in a minute when they are finished. So I've drawn on my pumpkin face and I have threaded through my string and just tied it in a knot so that I can hang up my decoration now. You can put it anywhere around your house where you can find somewhere to hang it and then you can create your very own Halloween party decorations. Aren't they fantastic? So children, have lots of fun making your very own Halloween decorations and I look forward to seeing you in the next activity. Bye. 